Hey, 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 what's up, you guys? Gediminas here. Welcome to Financial Freedom TV. Hope you had a fantastic day so far. And today I wanted to talk about fear. Not a very nice topic maybe to talk about, but important to talk and maybe you will get some value from this call today. So if you're watching a replay of this, please do me a massive favor and stick hashtag replay into the comments. If you're brand new, if you're watching one of my videos for the first time, please do say new in the comments as well. And of course, if you do get some value, if you learn something, I would highly appreciate it if you share this video because it might be useful to some other people too. So what is fear? That's the title of today's topic and I wanted to talk about fear just for a few moments, right? So there's two meanings that you can uh, give to fear. The first meaning, which I think a lot more people uh, give to the fear, is forget everything and run. Fear stands for forget everything and run. And that's what a lot of people do. When they um, get exposed to stressful situations or fearful situations, uh, like right now, uh, when it's uncertain, it's unstable, it's worrying, they give in to the fear. They give in to the fear and then they forget everything and run. They run to hide, they, they, they start panicking, they stop doing everything they've been taught up until today. They forget all the information that they've learned up until today and they drop everything and just worry and just panic and just watch the news, all the negativity, etc. And that's one course of action, which I think is very ineffective. It's very um, unresourceful, right? Because I believe that you're better than that. You've learned a lot more than that. You've, you've grown up to be a lot more than that. So you have a lot of resources in you in order to act more efficiently, in order to respond to the situation a lot more effectively. Instead of panicking, instead of worrying, instead of putting your head in the sand and forgetting everything and running, you can do something else. And that's the second meaning to fear. So the first one, fear, stands for forget everything and run. The second one, which I like more, which I prefer personally, stands for face everything and rise. Face everything and rise. That's what fear should sta stand for for you. You know, if you're watching my videos, that's what you should think about fear. For face everything and rise. Don't forget everything and run. Face everything and rise, right? What does it mean? It means don't just go through this, grow through this, right? Don't just go like, oh, we're gonna survive. We're gonna survive somehow this bad time. No. How can you thrive in this period so that at the other end you come out not all banged up and badged up and go oh we survived but you come out victorious you come out saying oh my gosh this is actually the best thing that ever happened to me i am crushing now i'm making double amount of money i'm you know more effective i'm more happy i'm more satisfied with my life I'm rocking and rolling, right? That means face everything and rise, right? Use everything you've learned up until today, all the information you've gathered up until today to execute, to put into practice, to put into action what you need to put in action in order to succeed, in order to thrive, in, in order to grow, right? There is so many opportunities, even now, even if you have to sit indoors, even if you have to stay at home, there is so much you can do to improve your life uh, psychologically, uh, financially, um, health-wise, etc. Right? So use this time. Don't be a victim. Be a victor. Don't just be somebody who survives. Be a champion that comes out the other end saying, I did this. I've earned that, right? Be that person. That's my wish for you guys. That's it for today. Hope you got some value. If you did, feel free to share it. Have a great rest of your evening. I'll see you at the top. Bye for now.